Uh, definitely. Today or yesterday was you know first time here, but felt the best I felt on, on any course right off the bat. And uh, the guys at uh, uh, Walter Brayson just been absolutely unbelievable. And uh, you know, getting that car, uh, the last race we went to was was a little rough. We uh, uh, weren't, weren't so good off the um, out of the, out of the truck, and I just kept driving and driving, thinking let's uh, let's try to get some practice on this course. So learning a lot every weekend, um, every race. Unfortunately, there's a, there's a lot more to learn, and uh, I felt like we really had a, a good car, a good chance at you know at a, at a top five qualifying time. But uh, again, I uh, <laughs> kind of choked on the qualifying run and uh, bounced it off the wall, and that uh, the uh, coming out of corner too. So um, you know, we'll be starting from the back. Uh, it, it's a lot of fun starting from the back, but uh, when you have such a good car and uh, you feel like you could you'd be up front, I, I'd like to see what it feels like starting up front just one time. So uh, <laughs> we'll we'll see what happens. But uh, I think the joy is going to be back there as well. He had a mechanical. Um, in practice and qualified third, so hopefully I can jump on his bumper and uh, come on up through the pack. We'll open the question to the media reminder if you can wait to the microphone and then give your name and affiliation. We'll go to Lewis first. Uh, Lewis Frank Reuters. Uh, obviously, you're a target any place you go. I mean, as champion in the X Games, do you feel like people are out to get you, or on the flip side, are there people out there to help you? Um, I, I felt like mostly it's, it's been people really, really trying to help, and it's been uh, been amazing reception here. And you know, obviously, there's a lot of different expectations. Um, I, I feel like more people are, are hoping that I do well than hoping that I don't do well. There's very few people that are neutral. It seems to be one or the other. But uh, it's been an awesome reception, and definitely the drivers have all been very good. Everyone's come up to me, um, drivers that are you know doing really well and also drivers that you know that I've been racing with or drivers that are behind me just give me suggestions or, and tips and pointers and uh, it's been tough because everyone's giving me opposite um, tips and pointers but uh, <laughs> I feel like we'll figure out what works best and uh, it, it's good to know you know what everyone's thinking it's even on the radio like you just you know you hear so many different options to what to do and everyone has a different idea uh, Matt Crafton and uh, Michael are actually completely opposite on what they recommend but when uh, when it's not working you try them both and you see what works for you so it's been uh, it's been very good learning experience and uh, I found there's a lot of different ways to drive around in a circle <laughs> and try, still trying to find the fast way Travis uh, Travis Barrett, NASCAR Home Tracks. Travis, are you are you getting sort of what you hoped you would get out of running the Pro Series this year in terms of the learning curve and getting up to speed? Are you where you thought you would be at this point? Honestly, I had no expectations coming into Irwindale. Um, after Irwindale, I had hoped that that would be a starting point. Uh, that, however, has been my best <laughs> best finish with the sixth. So uh, uh, definitely been going backwards every round, but I've, I've learned a lot every round. Um, Irwindale, we were able to go out there and we were able to test on the Irwindale course. I was able to have Matt Craft and drive my car, uh, get the car set up the way he want, he felt like that car would work, and you know he was in my ear the whole time. Since then. Um, you know, with the Nitro Circus 3D filming and with everything, I haven't had a lot of time to, you know, to get in the car and to really do my job, for lack of a, a better word. So, um, starting as soon as the X Games are over, um, you know, full full effort goes in, and we have a great team behind me. And, you know, to say that I'm where I had hoped to be, definitely not. But to say that I'm disappointed or discouraged with with how everything's gone, definitely not, because I've learned a lot every race. And although it doesn't seem like it from results, uh, I feel like I've uh, definitely gained a lot of knowledge, and I still know that we, we have a lot to go. We'll go uh, one, two behind Lewis. Bill Thomas, WPKZ Radio, Fitchburg Mass. Travis, given your success uh, from motocross to the X Games gold, uh, your progression of World Rally Car, uh, championships uh, and wins in all those series, now the, the, the way NASCAR has had uh, a history of chewing up other motorsports superstars and spitting them out very quickly, um, what is your timetable, what is your expectations um, you're looking at as not just a one year, next year, if you're not successful, you're looking two, three, four years down the road. Uh, what are your future uh, plans long term? Well, we have a, a three-year deal with, uh, with Michael with Pastrano Walter Racing, and um, I really hope to continue it you know, a long way past there. It's Michael, actually, after the last round, he was kind of like, uh, you know, if, if, you don't, if your results aren't good, is that going to discourage you from, from driving NASCAR? I said, no, actually, it's quite the opposite. Um, you know, I... I love challenges, and I moved here because I knew it was going to be a challenge. I've always done better on dirt. I've done better, um, you know, just not on, on pavement stuff, and, and definitely this is the most competitive form of racing, you know, probably in the world. Um, so I knew it was going to be a challenge. I knew it was going to be tough. That's why I came over here. Um, you know, it's going to be a long road. It's going to be probably longer than I expected, and, you know, not to say that we'll ever make it to the top, but I'm going to make sure that I've put every ounce of my effort, you know, into making sure that, you know, if, if I don't make it, it's not because of lack of trying. Or I'm not, 
you know, 60 years old going, you know, I wish I would have given that another year. I wish I would have tried that more. So, um, you know, we've got a long road ahead of us. I know that. But uh, I th we've got a great team, great sponsors, great support, and hopefully uh, hopefully enough skill to get there. We'll go back around then, uh, Bob. Hi, I'm Genevieve with Skirts and Scuffs. I'm just curious. You're going to debut in Nationwide in two weeks. What are some things you're looking forward to um, for your first run in Nationwide? Uh, de definitely looking forward to just, uh, just getting out there and kind of seeing what it's all about. Actually, talk to... Talk to Ricky. I'm like, man, this is or Carmichael. Sorry, was, uh, this, this has been this has been tough, man. Having a hard time, you know, just you know, qualifying to get up to where where I feel like we're running in practice, and um, you know, then we're we're starting you know further back. And um, Ricky goes, yeah, you, you should try the nationwide. So I'm a little. <laughs> that was pretty much his only reply. So it's gonna be a. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I just want to know what's out there. I want to know what we have to work towards. And this first year, you know, I came in. I, I knew that we weren't going to be able to put in, you know, the time and the dedication that it takes, to to really have a, you know, a, I shouldn't say a dominant first year, but a first year that was really just blew everyone away. I was hoping uh, that, you know, we'd have some, some really good finishes by now. But, uh, you know, bottom line is this is my learning year. This is the year that we go into next year saying, okay, where do we have, where's, what's our starting point? What do we have to do? And how can we make next year more successful? How can we, um, how can we keep making progress every race? And if I learn something in every race, that's a, that's a gain for me. And even though the results, you know, even the last race was probably my, the, the, best learning race for me. Um, it was our worst finish. And I think that's, uh, that's something that you know, I can take to the bank and say, okay, let's, let's keep going from here and let's figure out what we need to do. Bob? Sorry, Bob. I didn't really answer your question, but yeah, it's gonna be, should be, should be good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm also a little nervous, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> uh, Bob Parker, St. Elias, are you gonna be, are you gonna test a nationwide car or anything between now and IRP or Lucas Oil Raceway yeah. and uh, Kind of, can you kind of, what do you what do you need to learn this weekend to get you ready for that nationwide debut? Um, you know, this weekend was the first uh, first time that I overdrove qualifying. Every time I came in, I drove how I was driving practice, and I had pretty much underdriven qualifying. This weekend, I was like, all right, let's see how much these cars can take. Let's see how much the the different tires, you know, the basically with the mock setup can can do. And we we overdrove the crap out of the car, and it was a lot of fun. But uh, <laughs> definitely, you know, need to find that happy medium. So that was my biggest thing was just let's try to figure out where too much is in qualifying, and let's. Uh, you know, we have next week, uh, we'll definitely be going down. I'm still trying to get ready for the X Games uh, best trick in freestyle motocross, so I'll be spending a lot of time, unfortunately, in the foam pit, but uh, have a day scheduled for um, testing the, the nationwide car and also a day with uh, uh, late models up, um, up at IRP. So that, uh, that should be very helpful. And, you know, we'll come in the best that we can, and wherever it ends up, it's, uh, it's our learning experience and it's our, our base point. We'll go front row and then back to Lewis and then back row, please. Hi, Jason Rimmelard, the Springfield Republican. Um, you, you mentioned talking with Ricky Carmichael. I mean, and he started out in this series. Is his, you know, sort of the model that you're following as far as, you know, getting into NASCAR? Um, not necessarily the, the model we're following. Ricky actually, he did a, a, a pretty good program where they started, you know, started, not to say at the bottom, but um, worked his way up through all the different kind of cars, worked his way up through the horsepower, and he's done absolutely unbelievable. Um, I came in with uh, a little bit more... Uh, car ex experience, if you will, from from rally, and had some sponsors, and was able to to skip a few steps. Not to say that's good or bad. Um, we'll find out later. But uh, <laughs> but for now, I mean, that's Ricky's definitely um, motivation for the entire action sports community. I mean, you look at guys like Brian Deegan and uh, and everyone else that, that's really trying to, to get involved with uh, with NASCAR. And you, know, you look at the most competitive people in the world that have been successful at a very young age that are still competitive and are still driven and are still motivated past what most of your Monday morning quarterbacks will ever even dream of. And, you know, that they are seeing NASCAR as a legit sport and say, oh, it's not just, you know, a bunch of guys turn left. These guys are crushing the guys that have dominated the sport that we thought were the hardest in the world. Like, let's see what this is all about. And I think that's uh, it's been a pretty good, just when Carmichael got in, it really opened the eyes to a lot of the action sports community. And I think it's really good for, I mean, definitely for both sports, I think.